Hello friends, good morning and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to give access to a research group in Azure. Okay, so basically as part of this video tutorial, we are going to discuss two approaches. One is using Azure portal and the second approach is how we can use Azure PowerShell command to give access to your resource group in Azure. Okay, let me navigate to Azure portal where I have already logged into the portal and I'll show you there the first approach, okay? So let me go there. You can able to see here, I've already logged into my Azure portal and what you can do, you can just search for resource group and click on the search result. You will see all the resource group over here, right? So now what you need to do, you need to click on the specific resource group where you want to give the access to the user or the member, right? So just click on that particular resource group and what you can do, just you need to click on this access control IAM, right? So just click on that from the left navigation and then you just from this plus R drop down, you click on the R role management, okay? Click on that and then what you need to do, you need to uh, show now you can uh, search here the say I will choose your virtual machine contributor, right? So this is the one. So I will choose this particular role. It depends upon your requirement. What what is the role you want to choose here? You can choose that one, and then you can even you can just click on the privileged administrative roles, and there also you can choose the roles whatever you want, right? If I will click here. I will just remove this. You can able to see here. If you want contributor, you can also select that. Or if you want owner, also you can. I mean, it's all depends upon your requirement, right? Say if we will do contributor here. I'll just choose this contributor and click on the next button. And what you need to do here is just next step is you need need to you know click on this select members, right? To whom you need to give that particular access, right? So here, make sure you are choosing this user group for service principal, which will be default. But again, you should ensure that this is the option you need to choose. And then click on the select members. And here, what you need to search, you need to search for the email ID or name, right? I'll just select this one, this member, and click on the select button, right? You can able to see here the member is already selected now. And now what you need to do is just click on the review and sign review plus assign button. And again, once more time, you just click on the review and review plus assign button, right? You can able to see this guy was added as a contributor for this particular resource group, right? So this is, this is how you can use Azure portal to give access to a particular user for a resource group, right? And the second approach, as I told you, we can use PowerShell also to do that. So let me go here. One more uh, resource group I'll take. I'll say this one I'll take. What you can do, I have already opened this uh, PowerShell ISC with run as administrator mode. And this is the command you need to use. That is new hyphen Azure role assignment. And then the parameter is sign, sign in name. And this is the complete name, right? The sign in name for me. And then, I mean, this is basically the user sign in name. Okay. And uh, this is the role definition name, right? What is the access name, the role name you want to give, it's like virtual machine contributor or this only contributor or owner, whatever, okay, based on your requirement again. And then I'll just paste here the uh, resource group name right so basically these are the three parameters along with this new hyphen agile role assignment you need to use to give access to your resource group for this particular user right so let me execute this command and the moment you will do that it will take just few seconds and uh, it will add that particular access right to this particular user now you can able to see it is done successfully so you can able to see here the complete output here, right? This is the expected output. Okay. Now, uh, this is how you can use uh, PowerShell command, that is new hyphen agile role assignment to give access to a particular user 
for a resource group, right? So these are the two approaches you can use for this purpose, and we have discussed both the approaches. And if you want this command and all, I have already written an uh, article on the same topic in my website. That article URL, I'm going to put it in the video description. You can just have a look on that particular article, and you can copy this command and all, or you can also follow the steps, right? So, so that's it for today. I thought to quickly show you, you know, two approaches to uh, give access to a user to a particular resource group in Azure, right? So these are the two approaches you can utilize for that purpose, right? Thank you a lot for watching this video. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free Azure tips, free helpful Azure PowerShell commands, Azure, Azure CLI commands. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.